What up guys? Yes, it is T-Bear here and welcome to the Bear Cave. Now, I'm based in Adelaide, South Australia and it's currently 2 o'clock in the afternoon on the 20th of October 2017. Reason I'm giving dates and time is because about three hours ago, the last car come off the production lines at the Holden factory here in Elizabeth. Now, I'm sure to a lot of people, that doesn't sound like much. But Holden have been in Adelaide manufacturing since 1963. Obviously, they had peak and boom times, and you know, they had quieter runs, and in fact, in the last, I think, year, they were down to making just over 100 cars a day. At some stage there, there was thousands getting made. There's dealerships all over the country that used to pride themselves on the fact of using Australian products. But it's a lot more than that. See... About three years ago, they announced this closure was going to happen. And that's when people started to ask what's next. See, South Australia has the highest unemployment rate at the moment. I believe it's highest in the country and the youth unemployment is a step above that as well. Now, we've seen the one steel plant in Wyala. They were stopped hiring for a while. They got rid of excess. They... they um, Sorry, stalled everyone's pays because they needed to sell because they were going broke. So that's been sold and hopefully onwards and upwards there. The question is now though, what were the holding plant? What were the workers? Now, if you believe what you read, Holden have supposedly been really good with helping get them get other employment, helping them with other skills training. But a lot of these guys, like they done their apprenticeship at Holden. They've been at Holden for 20, 30, 40 years. They're now meant to pick up a new craft in the twilight of their working career. Now, it's hard enough for a 22-year-old coming out of uni to find a job. How's it going to be for a 55-year-old who's worked in the automotive industry all his life? And the only job's going is sales or, you know, door to door you know they've had such a long time to work out what they were going to do with this and even now they're saying it'll take a full 18 months to be decommissioned completely in fact the company that put it together has now been employed to pull it apart so that's kind of cool but it leaves a big hole in the northern suburbs See, 800-odd staff have already left. Like, they'd left in the last 12 months, 18 months, since they knew this was going to happen. They started looking outside the box. But I think there's still just under 1,000 people employed in the northern suburbs, which is renowned for being, you know, a hard area, a rough area. It's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. You know, we've read in the media, there's all these cool things they're talking about putting on or putting in or, you know, that could use the land, but, you know, they need government assistance or discounts on tax or however that works. But at the moment, it's still very much a standstill. You know, lots of people have said they'd like to go there. It's no different than we used to have a Mitsubishi plant in South Australia. That was southern suburbs. And that was the same. It took years for that to get reused and in different purposes down in Tonsley. So, whether you're Holden or a Ford, which generally most Australians are one or the other, the Holden closing is a very sad day. In fact, I believe that puts all vehicle manufacturing offshore now. So, you know, it might be fine to buy the Renault or drive around in the BMW or whatever 
the Prius and stuff like that, but what about the next generation now? What about the lot that are coming through school? They're, you know, 15, 16, and they're struggling, and they don't, you know, they're not academic, but they've got work ethic. Where are they going to go? Big industry is turning its back on South Australia. It's turning its back on Australia, but in particular, South Australia, with our soaring power costs, our incompetent government, we're going to get left further and further behind. It's time that someone, somewhere, stands up and says, what about us? What about South Australia? Until then, these things are just going to keep happening. You have to feel for the Holden workers. You have to feel for the northern suburbs. But most of all, you have to feel for the rest of South Australians that aren't going to know what it's like to be working within such a strong and powerful industry with such a strong and powerful governing body. It makes you think, once again, what are we leaving behind for the children? Anyway, guys, my name is T-Bear. You can find me on social media at T-Bear, B-O-A. That's T-Bear, B-O-A. Or you can find these vlogs as they drop at The Bear Cave Oz. That's The Bear Cave, A-U-S. Remember, real always recognises real.